Hi! Welcome back to Cantwell Beauty. Um, I haven't done a video in a while um, for various reasons, but I am back. I am going to do a small uh, CVS specific um, haul. Um, it's just a couple items that I picked up that I've been wanting for a while um, in CVS. While I was there, I pulled up the app um, or the website, Foundation.com. I'm sure everybody knows about it, um, but it's called Foundation. And what you do is you type in two or three foundations that you currently wear that are your color. And then hopefully the website will match you with all the other brands that um, would go good with your skin tone. So the first one I have here, like for instance, I have um, L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Liquid Makeup and I am W4 Natural Beige. So I type that in here. And then I also have um, Clarins Everlasting Foundation um, and I am the color, um, well this one says 110 Honey. Oops. Um, but anyway, I also have one in 108 Sand. Uh, this is also Clarins. Um, so I typed in 108 Sand because that's the one that I remembered when I was in the store. So um, anyway, so what it does is down here it says recommended matches for you. And then so for instance, like with Elizabeth Arden, their Intervene Makeup SPF 15, I would be Soft Sand. Um, in Becca, I would be 02 Praline, Fair, Neutral. Um, so it's pretty great. So anyway, that helped me when I was in CVS because I was looking to get some new foundations and some new powders. So I didn't really know where to go because I don't wear a lot of different brands of foundation. So that's where I'm going to start. So I went to two different CVSs tonight. Yeah, it's an addiction. Um, and so the first um, foundation, if I can find it, that I picked up um, is actually the Matte Poreless um, Fit Me Foundation, Normal to Oily, um, and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and uh, concealer, Maybelline Fit Me um, Foundation. And I got it in 220 Natural Beige because that is the foundation color that foundation.com um, told me that I would be. So I have not tried this yet as I just got home from the store. And then the next foundation that I got was also Maybelline and it is the Dream Liquid Mousse. Um, and I like this one because it has a pump. I'm super psyched about that. I don't know. Yeah, this one's just like a regular bottle, which I'm not too thrilled about. I'm getting away from those. Like I know I just showed you two that don't have pumps, but I wish they did. So I might have to invest in some like Mac pumps or whatever. But anyway, um, so Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse um, is what I got. And I am the color, according to foundation.com, I am a medium 2.5. Um, I'm not sure. It looks a little different than me, but I have bronzer on and powder and makeup, so who knows. Um, okay, and then the next thing I got was the L'Oreal, finally, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. Um, and it is the color Buff Beige or N4. So that's the one that I got according to, um, again, foundation. I just want to open this because I have seen it online, but I have yet to see it in person, and I don't quite understand it from the... Oh, all right, so... On top here is the little pad, and then under here it says, well, first of all, there's a little thing that says close tightly after use, so I'm guessing you just peel this off. Oh, oh, that's really cool. So it's like a, it's literally like a sponge with makeup on it. Pretty cool. Ah, close tightly after use. Okay, I see why, because it would dry out. So I'm excited to try that one, because I heard it lays really nicely. Like, everyone's raving about it. So I'm pretty excited to try it out. Um, okay, so I got those three foundations. Excited about that. The next thing that I picked up was the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. Now, I just want to show you an example of... I actually already... Do I have the same one? Yeah. So I have the Vegas Strip, and I've been using this forever. As you can see, I had serious pan on this, and I've had this probably for years. So I decided today that I would go out and pick a brand new one up at the store, and I did. Was that even English? Um, Vegas Strip Light Bronzer. So I'm really excited that I got a new one. And it says here, Custom Bronzer, Blush, and Eyeshadow, which is totally true because I'm pretty sure I've used this as an eyeshadow in the past. So that's what I like about Physicians Formula. A lot of their products are multi-use. So... Um, um, love that. The next thing that I picked up was the CoverGirl True Naked palette um, in the roses one. I don't wear a lot of pinks, but I feel like the pink um, 
eyeshadow look would flatter my skin tone. Um, so I'm going to try it with this palette. And I like that it says shades like a leading $50 eyeshadow palette. And um, I did see Kathleen Lights using one of these. It was the... Um, Oh, not the nudes one. It was the other one, the one in the middle with like the greens in it. And she used it recently and I loved the pigment on the green. In fact, the next day I, I pulled like a green out of my Kat Von D palette that didn't really look like her green, but I just wanted to wear green. So anyway, um, I was inspired by Kathleen Lights. So I went out and got this palette and let's see what these pinks look like. That one came out really nice. Um, so that's like a shimmer. And then we have, a lot of these are shimmer actually. One, two, three, four. Actually, they're probably like right down the middle. So that one is really highly pigmented. They're not kidding. So this looks really good. I'm, I might have to wear this tomorrow. So um, yeah, CoverGirl Roses True Naked Palette. And then I got two more items at the first CVS that I went to. And this I got, um, I just had to try it. So it's the e.l.f. Contour Palette. And this one, um, I don't even know how much it was. Let me look. Here's my receipt. I didn't buy that much, I promise. It's, there's a there's a receipt down here that I could have totally I could have totally used my extra bucks at the second CVS, but I left it in the car. So anyway, um, the contour palette oh from Elf is only six dollars. So wow, that's exciting. I'm gonna open up the contour palette because I want to see it and I want to see what the banana powder is like because I'm running out of my Anastasia Beverly Hills banana powder and I really need to hit up Macy's mom. Um, my mom works at Macy's. I need to hit that up and get some more banana powder for under my eyes, but maybe I won't have to. This is the e.l.f. contour palette. Um, it looks pretty nice actually. This is the banana, the banana shade um, and then there's like a highlight shade under there and then the two contour colors are that. And then the deeper ones that like even all of them are not like too dark like, even the dark dark one is not that bad and i like that there's a mirror in there like that's pretty cool um so yeah i'll be i'll be using that um and then i got a kabuki face brush um by elf as well and it says here um this taclon tack is am i saying that right brush can be used with wet or dry products be a professional makeup artist and create this create a flawless look with this elf studio brush so I have one from It Cosmetics. Um, I have, I think this is it. Yeah, yeah. So this is It Cosmetics Kabuki brush, but it's angled, which is super cool. And I use it for like highlighting or contouring here. But anyway, the Kabuki face brush is really cool because, but I would use it for like translucent powder or like all over face powder. Yay! So that covers everything I got at the first CDS. And there was a Milani display. And in front of the Milani display was like a dolly with like boxes on it. I was trying to like look around it to see like the whole Milani display, but I couldn't. So I, there actually weren't any palettes there. I wanted some of those like the new Milani palettes just to look at them even because I've only ever seen them online. I was looking and they had none. Literally not one palette, not any of the bright ones, not the neutral ones that they have, not the the purples, the smokies, none. They were completely all out. So I went to the second CVS looking for those palettes and I ended up looking at them and I wasn't really like in love with them. So they were 10 bucks. They were 9 99 So I was like, you know what, let me not. And I'll probably get one. I just have to decide which one I want because there's like Eight, I think so I don't really want a neutrals one because I just got my shade and light palette which is like crazy I know because everybody has it the Kat Von D shade and light I finally just got it so here's proof that I have it um so um Anyway, at the second CVS I went back on foundation.com and I realized that I didn't have L'Oreal infallible pro matte um, um foundation and I haven't tried it yet so um, according to foundation.com I am a 105 natural beige and so that's the color that I got and I'm excited I might use this one tomorrow because I really want to try it going back to Milani um, Milani had some lipsticks there I've never tried Milani lipsticks they could be bad they could be good I have no idea and I don't really hear a lot of people talking about them that I can pull up in recent memory so anyway I got two colors I know the browns and the nudes are in right now even though it's totally not fall the browns are in with the whole Kylie thing so I got Bahama beige um and that's number 55 and I also got oh wait I didn't get a brown I'm sorry I meant to get the brown but it was like espresso but it was too brown so I got 48 Tuscan toast which is more of like a red um, but I really like it because it's like a deep red. I actually want to try it on really quick. So I'm going to try out um, the nude Milani and then I'm going to try the um, the reddish one. Got my mirror. All right. Can you see? 
Okay. So, I like the smell of it. It smells kind of like it wants to be MAC. Like, yeah, it's like, can I be a MAC lipstick? <laughs> it's good though. I like it because it's like moisturizing or whatever. It's not bad. Let's see here. I like that color. Okay, and then I'm gonna try on the Tuscan Toast one. I hate to take this off because I like it. Oh, the struggles. Let's try on Tuscan Toast. I would probably normally line my lips. As you can see, it's not perfect because I need to line my lips, but yeah. So I like that. Okay, so that takes me through my CVS haul for this evening. Um, I got plenty of foundations. Um, I got a contour palette. I got a brush. I got lipsticks. I got eyeshadows. I got bronzer. I could legit do like a full look just based on my haul for tonight. And I might tomorrow morning and then just maybe add the picture as part of this edit right here. So yeah, um, thanks for visiting Cantwell Beauty and spending the time with me. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I promise we'll have some more fun things coming up. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.